Uh, this is a pneumatic thermostat. Uh, the brand is rubber shell. And on the back, you can see there's a model number T18 3011. And another number is 0721. There's your main hookup line, which is M, and B is for your branch. All right, you can easily take it apart, like just like that. And you snap in, snap in just like that. And you will see the dial here. And now it's in place. Uh, to mount this properly, you all you have to do is just um, push into the cover, mount it on the wall. All right, let's take apart for now. And so the first thing you're gonna need is something like this. This is a star key. And so on the back, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven screws in there. And a lot of these are star keys. So I'm gonna remove, remove the first one. Fourth one. Okay, so now I got four screws off. One thing you have to pay attention is you have to remove one side first and then flip it over and remove the other side. That's how you take it off. And now, with all the four screws taken off, we have to take the center off because the center piece is also blocking the other screws. To remove the center piece, we use this, which is uh, six edge tips. And you just remove the center diaphragm. And it came out like, just like that. It has a little uh, um, bracket holder here with a center screw in there. There's nothing really complicated. Now we have the fifth star key right here. Um, all right, let me try to remove this top cover, top down. So in order to do that, I need flat head. Okay, the dial comes off too with the flat head. Okay, now I can take all the star key up now because everything is, everything is exposed. I just have to be carefully. This is a front plate. Now, that's the front and back. You, see, you can see a little O-ring here. That's where you hook up the gauge to test the pressure if you want to calibrate the thermostat. So they put a little O-ring here. And this is a center gasket. I feel like a rubber, rubber kind of gasket. And here's another key. Uh, this this Allen screw is just to secure the the plate in place. Uh, let's see if we can take it apart further. Oh, that's full out. Okay. Oh, I think I take it apart. Let me try this. We can have that out. Here we go. All right, 
So we take it further apart. So there's uh, another gasket. This is thinner piece. And also there's a spring here. Bunch of thing look like a sponge right there. And also there's a, a little bowl with a little bowl with a spring on the back. Let's tuck those out. And there's a little um, pneumatic hookup adapter. Let me see if I can. That's just like a sponge, They're like a little filter, so some kind of probably remove the moisture or stuff. You can you see this one is a little dark in there. Let's see if you can take it apart. All right, that's the back plate. Um, I think that's pretty much it. These two probably they have manufactured together. Oh, there's another. Please, you can take apart another uh, gasket here. This is another rubber piece. It's right behind this. Uh, so you see this three with this uh, this in there, this in there. And so when you put a frown place, frown plate on like that, you know, like that. Yeah, that's how it goes. Okay. So, so, and also on this style, you can see the way this hopper it is, the thickness goes thicker. So when you, you, when you have this metal, when you change, it will push the plate up and down. So horizontally up and down because, because this little ramp right here, they created. So that will adjust your, uh, pneumatic thermostat to push more air or push less air as the air passes that frame. All right, that's, um, that's pretty much it for this uh, Robert Shung thermos, pneumatic thermostat. Uh, I just wanna take it apart and see what's inside and now I have a chance to show you guys because I never see a video like this. All right, that's it for now, thank you.